believe of all people I fucked this one up. Meet the Mets. Meet the Mets. Step right so, we are on our way downtown to talk to Keith Hernandez. This is like a white whale type of interview for your boy KFC. Diehard Mets fan, I watch SNY every night. This is one of the biggest gets ever for me. So I was supposed to interview him at Barstool HQ. Keith, for whatever reason, didn't want to do that. And so now I will be interviewing Keith from the back of his car. You know, we like to think that Barstool has made it, Barstool has arrived, when in reality, you know, we're still getting stuffed in the back of a car. Like, yeah, you can talk to me, but on my way from one real outlet to another real outlet. Oh, wait a minute, do we go to Uptown? We can go to Uptown, we're fucking idiot. Alright, we're on the subway now, headed down to see Keith. I stupidly went to the Uptown track. And so, uh, now we're gonna be late. Now we're gonna be late, we're gonna be cutting it close. So I was talking all this shit about how Keith Hernandez was big timing us and you know, wasn't gonna make our original appointment and now I'm the asshole who might miss the whole thing. Where are we going? Don't know, we'll get out to the street, we'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure it's like a, a four minute walk, so should be good. All right, so we're downstairs. We're at the New World Trade Center. I have no fucking idea. Exit to Fulton Street, exit to Church Street. Yeah, Liberty Street exit is. That was what the fuck? Excuse me. Where's the the Liberty Street exit? All right, we gotta go. It's your boy JFC. He's running. It's the most I'm gonna run in years. So we're close on Liberty Street. I mean, I'm out of gas already. <laughs> that was no help. I used to work here. I used to work in this building. I didn't know where I was going. You used to work in this building? Yeah. They're going to play this evening. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen! Is that the most athletic thing you've done since the combine? This is slow. This looks slow. It was a dead sprint. A dead sprint. I was like, of all, of all the people to screw up the timing, Keith Hernandez, really? Now the moment we've been waiting for is here. How are you, Keith? What's your name? Nice to meet you, Kevin. So the book is out. Uh, I'm Keith Hernandez. Very appropriately named. I feel like that that, that really became a uh, your mantra, I'd say. You can eat while we do it. We're pretty lax, so don't worry about it. Um, Seinfeld um, appearance. Yes. Who does this guy think he is? I'm Keith Hernandez. Has more legs than I think any any you know small cameo type of appearance in television history. Oh, sure. I mean, it did. It just was an. Uh, Iconic episode, mm -hmm. iconic show. Uh, this, this show, Seinfeld, they want you to come and do do something for them. And I said, well, I never heard of it. And he goes, well. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, it was early on, but you had never heard of Seinfeld. I had never. I, I, I don't watch any prime time. And Scott said, you know, they'll give you $15,000. They'll fly you out first class. And they're weak in LA. You can't beat that. And I, so I said, OK, I'll do it. Uh, I was petrified the whole week doing that show. No matter how many lines you had to memorize it. One that matters, and that's how I'm keeping it. I mean, that's, that was, that's um, stuck, right? So I went to Larry and said, "Well, how do you, how do you want me to say it? Like, I, don't, I don't know how to say it." And you, I go, "Can you just, you tell me how you want to yeah, do it? That could be have delivered. The, have the tape, point. have the tape rolling, and I'll mimic you." So Larry said, "I'm Keith Hernandez." So I just did it real quick. It was <laughs> one take. Then one and did, done. Then I we love did, it. went on to the kissing scene, which is where I wanted to go. <laughs> when I was younger, before, I was always a little shy of girls in my early 20s. 25, 26, to finally really? get over a little bit of shyness. Yeah, I was. At what point in your career, I guess? 
25, 26. Yeah, I was going to say. So that mean... must be my I'm Keith Hernandez moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine once you win the MVP, you, the, the nerves of talking to girls goes away, huh? Well, that was the case. It became, I think it was all part of the growing process, too. To me, strikeouts, walks, and a home run are the three boringest things in baseball. No action. I feel that. I got you. Do you think, uh, do you, uh, do you follow baseball or the Mets? Like, what would you say you... Do I follow yeah, baseball? You know, like I, uh, better question you, uh, would be, would I follow baseball if I wasn't in the booth? Yeah. I, I would You, you think I would you'd just not. be done with it? I, when I'm done doing this, I won't watch baseball here again. Really? I'll be, I'll be just sick of it? I'm not sick of it. I just, I'm not going to sit down for three over three hours and watch a ball again. I got better things to do. <laughs> like go out to dinner. There you go. With the, with the regular people. I mean, awesome. <laughs> I mean, you know what's funny is like, so I was joking before we came here saying how, you know, Keith, he kind of big time does. I was like, I'm not coming to your place, but if you want to talk to me in my car ride, you can squeeze it in. And I would rather do that. I would rather do that than sit in my dank ass studio, dingy ass studio, any day of the week, shooting the shit about like the 86 Mets and the, I mean, Car rides, that's the thing. Uh, right. Vlog so I guess, rides. I guess that, that Seinfeld, had, he was onto something, huh? <laughs> it all comes full, full circle with Jerry Seinfeld here. That guy absolutely fell asleep. So, our cab driver was just 100% asleep behind the wheel the entire ride. Yeah.